Hi there, Mark Costner here from DreamweaverMadeSimple.com. Welcome to our Dreamweaver Tutorials, How to Create a Basic Web Page, Part 2. In our last video, before starting with Dreamweaver, we took a look at how to create your page layout, and how to create your page graphics. In this next video, Getting Started with Dreamweaver, we're going to take a look at setting up your site and how to create your first page. So let's get started. Setting up a site. Although your website will eventually live on a web server somewhere out in cyberspace, you'll first need to create a copy of your website on your local computer. That'll give you the chance to create new pages, add text and graphics, and make any changes that you need quickly and easily. Once you've created those pages, you'll then need to upload it to the internet once it's finished. Dreamweaver has a feature that allows you to create a website on your local computer. Let's take a look at how this feature works in Dreamweaver. Once you open Dreamweaver, you'll notice that you have a menu item called Site, just up here. If you roll your mouse over that, you'll notice that you have a number of options. If you click on Manage Sites, you'll be able to see all the websites that you're managing with Dreamweaver. Now, when you create a new site in Dreamweaver, you're effectively creating a new folder on your local computer. Let me show you what I mean. Right here we have a site that we've called Dreamweaver Made Simple. If we go over to our Windows File Manager, you can see that right here, Dreamweaver's created a folder called Dreamweaver Made Simple. And in that folder we have all the files related to that specific website. If we look back in Dreamweaver now, you can see that folder right here, in the Files pane on the right hand side of the screen. And under there, we've got all the subfolders, including images and audio and any other of those folders, as well as all the files for this particular website. Now before you go ahead and create a new site, pop on over to dreamweavermadesimple.com and watch a tutorial on how to create a new website. We cover the process in detail. You'll want to make sure you watch this carefully to make sure that you do it correctly. Now that we've set up your website in Dreamweaver, it's time to get started creating your first page. Now, you remember in our first video, we created that wireframe. Well, now we're going to take that wireframe and recreate that same layout in Dreamweaver. Let's take a look at how to do that using Dreamweaver. One of the simplest way to lay out our pages in Dreamweaver is to use tables. So I'm going to show you a quick and simple way to create the equivalent of that wireframe using tables. Table icon. Start by going up to the table icon right here and click on it. Under rows, select three and columns will just select one. For table width, we'll select 700 and we'll make sure that this is set to pixels. Then click on OK. Select a table, click on a line and align it to center. As you can see, we've instantly created a basic wireframe layout. There's our header section, our body section, and our footer section. Well, that should have given you a great foundation on how to create a basic web page in Dreamweaver. In our next video, we're going to take a look at how to insert your page graphics into the page that we just created. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you'd like to get your hands on more Dreamweaver Made Simple tutorials, then pop on over to www.dreamweavermadesimple.com to get your hands on a free 15 part Dreamweaver tutorial that takes you through the whole process of building your website in detail, step by step, from start to finish. This is Mark Costner signing out. Keep your eye open for part three.